Okay, here are some more examples of derivatives involving trig functions. And this one is the derivative with respect to x of cosine squared x cubed. And that is the same thing as the cosine of x cubed squared. So we'll apply the chain rule here and the outer function is the squared part. So I'll first apply the product rule and it'll be 2 times cosine of x cubed, all that to the first times the derivative of cosine of x cubed. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so I get negative sine of x cubed times the derivative of x cubed, which is 3x squared. So the chain rule gets applied two times. And then we can clean up a little bit. We've got a negative sine and a 2 and a 3. That comes out to a negative 6, and I'll move this x squared here out to the front negative 6 x squared cosine of x cubed sine of x cubed. In this one we're told to find the equation of the line tangent to the graph of y equals cosine 2x at x equals pi over 4. So first let's find the y, the y value, the value of the function at that x value. So y of pi over 4 is going to be cosine of 2 times pi over 4, which is just obviously the cosine of pi over 2. And cosine of pi over 2 is 0. In my mind, whenever I have a little problem like that, I'm picturing a unit circle. And pi over 2 is one quarter of a circle, and the cosine is the x value right there, 0. Now let's find the derivative at that point. Well, the derivative of the function y primed is going to be the derivative of the cosine function, which is the negative sine function. So I have negative sine of 2x times the derivative of the inner function, which is just 2. So let's write that as negative 2 sine 2x. And now I need to find y primed at pi over 4. So I'll just put in pi over 4 for x there. So I get negative 2 times the sine of 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. So negative 2 times the sine of pi over 2. And the sine of pi over 2, you can see right there at that point, is 1. So all of that is 1. So this just equals negative 2. So I have a point. My point is um, an x value of pi over 4, that's the x value I plugged in, and a y value of 0, so pi over 4 comma 0, and a slope of negative 2 that I just found right there. So I can use the point slope form of the equation for a line, just y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, and we'll use those values. So I have y minus 0 equals negative 2 x minus pi over 4. And that's it. That's the equation of the line. And um, personally, I typically put things into y equals mx, mx plus b form just because that's the, the most common and generally the easiest way to work with them. So we get y equals negative 2x plus pi over 2. Although either way you want to write it, the, the slope intercept form or the, the point slope form. Either of those is a valid answer to the question, find the equation of the line. Okay, here we're told to find the equation of the line tangent to this graph, y equals x plus cosine x at the point 0, 1. Okay, if we're going to be finding a tangent line, we'll need the derivative, so let's find y primed, and we can just differentiate here term by term. So the derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. So that's the derivative. And the derivative at an x value of 0, y prime of 0, would be 1 minus the sine of 0. And the sine of 0 is just, just 0. So this is simply 1. So this isn't hard. I have a point, and I, I'm given the point. 0, 1, and I have a slope. 
the slope is 1. Now you can visualize this real easily if you just think about the point zero 1 which is right here if we have this uh, marked off in units like this and a slope of 1 makes this line run like this and you should be able to see that that is the line y equals x plus 1 so that one was pretty easy and one more uh, y equals x squared times the sine of 2x find dy dx okay this is a product x squared times the sine of 2x so we need to use the product rule so y primed is going to be the first times the derivative of the second so I need to do the derivative of sine 2x which will be cosine 2x times 2 by the chain rule so that's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second sine 2x times the derivative of the first which is just 2x and then let's do a little work to clean this up a little bit the 2 and the x squared I can write this as a 2x squared cosine 2x plus 2x sine 2x and I can factor a 2x out from each term and 1x will be left behind in the first term so this becomes 2x times x cosine 2x plus sine 2x like that 